How cold does the road get? Revelator Alf. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alf. So yeah, another winter video here. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, dressed up, uh, about to go out uh, in the cold and wind and rain. Uh, so uh, Kais is keeping me uh, company and keeping me warm. Thanks very much. Uh, but I wanted to do a very quick video uh, with my laser temperature thing here uh, to show you the difference between ambient air temperature and actual road temperature and why this is really important. Okay, so right now, outside air temperature here is 8 degrees, uh, so it's a little bit of a mild day. If I measure the temperature of my garage floor, and it's actually saying 4.8, so it's nearly 4 degrees less. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it out onto the open road and show you exactly what the temperature difference is let's say on a cold road and the ambient air temperature. I was trying to keep a thermometer these days uh, in my saddlebags, especially in the winter, not on the exhaust side, on the other side as well, of course, and uh, just let it uh, adjust to the ambient temperature. When I'm riding in winter, I always look at about a four or five degree difference between what the outside air temperature is and what the road temperature is. If you look at racing applications, they always talk about track temperature and they're not really concerned about the outside air temperature, it's what the temperature is at the track. And basically, in the, in the summer, you can have a really hot track because it bakes the surface, the, the sun bakes the surface and it retains the heat. But actually in the winter, there's not enough solar heating. So basically all the, all the heat uh, starts to leave the uh, surface of the, uh, of the earth. That's why in the middle of the night or for early hours in the morning, uh, that's when the road temperature at its coldest because uh, all, the, uh, all the heat is uh, escaping away and there's no heat from the sun to heat it back up. So if you've got an outside air temperature of about four or five degrees, your road temperature is likely to be in the region of about uh, zero degrees Celsius I'm talking about here, uh, or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's when icing can occur. So if you look at those kind of temperature variables and say, right, I've got a bit of moisture in the air, it might have been raining, that kind of thing, the night before you might have had wet roads if you get a temperature around about four three four degrees your road temperature actually might be at zero so you've got to be really careful there about riding on untreated roads especially because uh, there might be a risk of ice. Now, if they're treated, yes, that will uh, help with that as well, but always be aware that you might enter a bit of ice. Anyway, so I thought I'd just quickly show you, there's about a four degree difference in my garage. I'm gonna get on the open road and show you what the difference is there. And hopefully this will help you out. Right, let's do that. Right, so quickly pulled over to the side of the road here again, and I uh, just wanted to show you, uh, well, it's still seven, just over seven degrees of Celsius. Let's see, this is a really quiet road. Let's see what the road temperature is here. There you go, pretty much the same as it was in the garage, four degrees, so three or four degrees difference. So if you're operating around about outside air temperature, about three or four degrees, watch out for frozen roads. Uh, definitely something to consider, especially when you're out on your bike as well. And especially if you're going on untreated roads or back roads as well. Just take it easy out there. Hope you found that useful. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, like and share, and check out the website, revenatealf.com. ta -da.